of advice. I am not a professional stock trader, nor am I a financial advisor of any kind. I make no guarantees, nor do I offer any promises of any kind with the processes or information shared in this video. Okay, so I went and I looked a little bit, and I believe I found one that I can show you how this works. Now, this is uh, Pepsi, this Pep, and I scrolled back a couple of days. I believe this is, I thought I was going to use the fifth, so we're going to see how this plays out, and I'll show you how exactly how I map out buy and sell pressure as the day goes on. All right, so... Let me go ahead and hit play. See what happens here. Okay, here come coming into the pre-market. All right, we're out of the pre-market. Let me stop it right there. Okay, I'm not gonna put up any pre-market zones or measured moves. I just simply want to show you buying sell pressure. I'm even gonna take the EMAs off right now. All right. Now, trading during the day, I will have the EMAs on. I'll have my RSI on. I'll have all kind of things on. Not much. Very pretty conservative chart, but um, I just want to take all that off so we can get a clear understanding. So, you know, you can get a clear understanding of how I do it. I'm not telling you to do it. This is just how I do it. So I got asked a question, so I'm going to go ahead and show how I do this. All right. So let's see here. Coming in today, and I'm I, I may go up to another chart, but I'm gonna try to stay on the five with this. So the bell open, and we're just waiting, we're waiting for a run. Okay. All right, we're gonna stop it right there. End of the day, about an hour. Uh, so it came in, it went up. It hit this point and it came down. So where do we think it's going to start going back up at? Or where should our buy pressure zone be? I would say grab this guy and you do the rule. You come to the bottom here since we're looking for a sell pressure zone. Decent candle. These are okay candles. Okay candle. Iffy. This is all right. And, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six candles making up 30 minutes. So we come to the red candle before. See the don't look over here. Look over here. See the preferred line coming to the top of that. Bam. Preferred line going to the bottom right there. Bam. And then we pull this guy out. Now, we're going to go ahead and color this red. So ideally... We're looking for this to come in this zone and the sell pressure push it back up. If it keeps coming down, then we know that this that there wasn't enough sell pressure here in this zone. And then we just have to wait. Okay. So let's go ahead and play. Coming down. Coming down. Hit we hit the zone. Okay, let's go. Let's just go ahead and move this zone over. Okay, because now we're playing around in the zone that we made for the uh, the buy pressure. I'm sorry, it's buy pressure zone. All right, on the five, and that's why this is red. This is not red because it's a, a, a stopper, a put, or a don't do it thing. This is just red because simply red represents my five minute things on my chart. Okay, that's all it is. Just so you understand, coming to the bottom of the buy pressure zone, playing along in the buy pressure zone. I'm just waiting. Looks like it's going to break it. It tested it. Okay, let's pull this out some more. We're still playing around here. Let's see. Still playing around in the bottom of that zone, the bottom half under. The day line, I might add, we broke out of the buy, the, the, uh, buy pressure, so that wasn't enough pressure in there. Okay, broke out of it. So we're still going down. But now we're coming back. 
And this was only a couple of days ago, so maybe it's not going to go back up. I don't know. Uh-oh, there it goes. Hit the buy pressure. Not, not enough buy pressure. Not enough buyers, man. There we go. Just telling you the story. You got to decipher me. I'm thinking not enough buyers. Should be a lot of pressure built up to go. But, I mean, if you really look at this, okay. Let's talk about that for one sec. If you really look at this move here, it's on the five minute. And it's what? It is 167.38 down to 166.43. What is that? Okay. I'm tired. My brain isn't working uh, that hard right now. So let's say that again. 167.41. 167.43. Minus uh, 166.43. That's only 98 cents. That's not that that great a buy pressure there, man. So, okay, let's just keep on watching. Just, you know, and remember we got a day line right here. It's uh, playing along that day line, turning it into support and resistance and you know, there's probably a couple patterns you could spot out in here for people who trade the, uh, you know, the teacup and the head and shoulders and all that stuff and the M and all those things. Okay, let's extend this out and let's watch. Okay, so we broke way below that zone. So that right there is telling you that this buy pressure zone not enough buy pressure, all right? So I don't think we need this guy no more. So this is what I would do. I would get rid of it because it's for what? What are we going to leave it on the chart for? I don't think we need it at this point. I mean, it may come back and take off from there, and I'll just redraw it if I need to, you know? So let's see. Do we have a new buy pressure zone is what we need to be looking for, okay? So we come here to this run. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six candles. And a couple of these candles are decent, decent, decent. Okay, okay, okay. So if the if the if the day was going along and it was uh seven fifteen or what have you, seven twenty, whatever, seven twenty, whatever, and I wanted to I would I would come here and do the same thing. I'd be like, bam, go to the bottom of this guy, bam, I pull this over and let's see if this uh Guy is going to work. No, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. Forget about that. We got to look back. We have to look back. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's. I, I don't see anything significant there. Because remember, you got to go to the end of the run and get that candle. I'm, I, don't, I flipped out. I don't know what I was thinking there. We're, go we're going a downtrend right there. So uh, sales pressure is what we need to be looking for, honestly, okay, in case it comes back up. But I'm just trying to find some buy pressure just uh, to let you see some buy pressure. It's kind of hard in this market because everything's going down. Let's just watch. I spot some. Notice I zoomed, I zoomed everything in so I could see this day over here. I want you to notice something. Look at the end of this run here. It hit buy pressure and it started going up. Now, let's see. It's, so there's something over here that would tell us where this buy pressure came from. Could it be this uh, support here? Somewhere over here. Let's see. Maybe we're looking at... Uh, if I'm looking at it here, I don't really see nothing significant. Maybe here. So let's come over here. Let's get this candle real quick. I don't care how big or small it is. It is what it is. So let's stretch this guy out. Okay. That's right above that by pressure. Can we do better than that? Let's see. Uh, so we're looking for a green run and then the bottom. So it would have to be, no, there's only two candles. There's a red one. So it's a little hard to decipher, but 
I think you get the picture. This, if this was our buy zone pressure here, it's up here, it's been ran through, so it's no good. Okay, we got four counting maybe here. Maybe from here to, the, okay, let's try that. As you follow along, it gets clear once you know what you're looking for, okay? This is such a little zone here. Let's see. So we ran through here and we kind of found a little pressure there. So we ran through the buy pressure zone. We don't see anything over here too significant because this is not three in a row. So it's not three in a row. Uh, this is three in a row, but it's pretty much basically the same thing as this. A little further down, hmm, same thing. And uh, not seeing nothing, nothing significant just right here. Okay, so that's what I'm telling you. Everything is not foolproof for me all the time. Okay, but it did bounce, sort of bounce off the top of this. Come back into this buy pressure, come out, test it. Now let's see what happens. This is just a bear, bear uh, market going on right now, man. But look at that. So that was our buy pressure right here. Bounced up, but look at Okay. It's playing around, but it's still going up. Going up. Let's pause it right there for a sec. So now we're looking for where's our sales pressure? As we're riding this call up, if we took the call and we're riding the call up, now we're looking for sell pressure, okay? So how do we find that? We find the red rundown. We come over, grab our tool. This would be the first one, easily to spot right there. Bam, to the bottom. Run this over. And let's see if that works. If not, let's go ahead and map this guy out here. Bam. Right, let me move this down. Buy and sell pressure is kind of hard to find sometimes, man. It's sometimes it's very uh, confusing, especially in a market where it's just moving one way really hard, whether that's up or down, you know? So we probably would have to go to other time charts to confirm these things or find it on other time charts, but we're just going to stay with the five so you get the point, okay? You get the point of what I'm doing. Let's see what happens here. So is this sales pressure or is this sales pressure? Or is it going to break through? Well, it looks like this is sell pressure. Look at that. Uh-oh. Well, it's retracting. Is it going to break out? Nope. It's going to play along in it. All right, let me go ahead and pause that right there. It's going to play along in that sales pressure there for a sec. And then it's going to, this is when I'm like, they're like, well, what are you looking at, Cyberman? I'm like, I'm watching, just watching. I'm not going to make a move unless I'm already in it. Okay, broke above that buy pressure or sales pressure there, actually. Sales pressure over here, the candle, the main candle's green. So you just stop there. So you just put that on the green so you know, you know this is, uh, sell pressure when it's on green over here, you know, it's buy pressure when it's on red. Okay, that's why you put it, make sure you got it on the candle. All right, so we got buy pressure, we got sell pressure. All right, and so look at that this huge drop. Okay, ran through here. Look at the buy pressure there, and, and, and now look at that. Let's see what happened. They try the buyers try to buy here, they created some buy pressure. They got overwhelmed, and the thing fell. It fell below this. What is this? Buy or sell? Fell below this uh, sell pressure, or buy pressure, sorry. Came down, almost hit this buy pressure. It's kind of like an elevator with air brakes. Wham, it doesn't hit the bottom. It hits there. There's a lot of pressure down here. Shoots back up, plays along here for a minute, kind of tries to come back down. Oh, got shot up. But now look at what I want you to pay attention to is this. This is how everything is a sign. Everything, I look at everything, okay? I, I don't know. 
how I can pay attention to so much stuff. Probably because I stick with, oh, one stock. Yeah. All right. And I hardly trade anything else. Why would I need to trade anything else than like the SPY? In my opinion, that's just my opinion. Okay. Look at that. We're hitting two points. Look at that. What are we doing? This was here. Look at showing me that this point is higher than this point. So we're getting higher highs, even though these sell pressure zones are not working for me at the moment. And we're playing along inside this zone, shoots up, comes back. And then the pressure shoots it up. Boom. Blast off. Okay. Then we get inside this zone. And this is a buy pressure zone. But just like right here, it's too weak. It can't. Uh, I'm sorry. It's a sell pressure zone. It's too weak. It shoots up. Okay. Out of the zone. And then this sell pressure here is just pushing it down. And it's starting to come down. And then we're at the end of the day. I hope I explained that right to you guys. Um, but basically, like I said, go find three candles or better. You go to the green candle if they're red. Find the sell pressure. You go to the red candle. If it's green, find the buy pressure. Okay, and that's how you do it. And then as these things, as you don't need that zone no more, you get rid of it. Because there's always going to be a new one that you're going to just keep going forward in the day. It may not be on the, the 5. It may be on the 1. It may not be on the 1. It may be on the 15. It may be on both. maybe on the hour. You just have to find it, all right? That's it. 